Hi everyone, I'm Diaruga. I've been playing this game competitively for years, almost six years. And um, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play one of the two new civilizations, the Swedes. I'm going to give general tips about how to my macro um, in age one. And I'm also going to show you a build order which is quite uh, powerful and flexible in my opinion. So first you're going to want to split your villagers between the uh, food and wood crates and urge your end towards uh, your first mine here. It's, it's important you urge it toward your mine because uh, your torp here needs to gather from both uh, the ends and uh, the mine. So here we go, we kill one uh, animal here. And we're going to build this second torp here. And switch all our villagers to food. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm not going to take treasure in, in this game because it might impact my build order and make it look stronger than it really is. So I'm going to be honest. Now both dwarfs are gathering from both a uh, ant and uh, the gold mine, which is going to give me a decent income. I messed up a bit my uh, early age one. This uh, deer should have been herded towards the town center so that my villagers can work less. I didn't manage it really well here. In your games, it try to have it nearer uh, your town center. And we're going to try to train villagers and send the free villagers shipment until we reach uh, 15 villagers. Then we're going to gather 800 food and aid with the 500 food politician. So now there's not a lot of thing to do, things to do. Usually you want to take treasures with your explorer, but as I said, I'm not going to take treasures this game. Always check uh, the amount of food left on your animals in age 1 so that you can see uh, when you run out of food and uh, move your villagers toward the next animal. It makes quite a big difference. Sometimes you can get, you can get uh, plus 100 food because uh, you macro better, which is significant in a competitive game. And once we uh, click on the second age, we're going to put all our villagers and wood. As I said, this wasn't the best macro. You can do better, so I'm going to have some idle time. But usually you shouldn't have idle time at all. And then you put, as I said, all your villagers to wood. The first thing we're going to do here is uh, herd our second ant toward our new gold mine and build four tops on our second gold mine. So the first torp. It's, uh, I can't stress how important it is to have uh, your torps gathering from both ants and uh, gold mines. If you don't do that, your economy is going to be a lot weaker than it would uh, else. Second torp. The third torp. And finally, the fourth torp. Now, once we've built the four torps, we're going to want to save 200 wood for racks. 
and send the um, mine card for tops because it's going to boost uh, our economy. So two these and the racks. And the next thing we're going to want to do now is build four torps on our third mine. This means, of course, herding our hunt. Here I'm lucky the hunt is near uh, the torp, so I'm not going to have a lot of problems. And we're going to train five Carolians. Now the second torp. The third torp. Now we're sending 700 coin to age. And once we have 120 wood, we're going to switch all our wheels back on food and build our last torp. This build order is very flexible because if you're under pressure, you can decide to train uh, more Carolians. You're going to have food and coin for the Minutemen in your town center, and you can decide to ship uh, eight X bowmen or even two cannons uh, to defend the early pressure. So now we're going to get like five villagers to gather the crates and we should be up in time. Of course we're going to use the uh, fast age jug politician. And now once we are once we've launched the uh, third age, we've got two two options from my experience. Uh, one option is to uh, play for mercenaries. In this case, you're going to want to send uh, 10 Jaegers or 7 Black Riders and build the um, uh, Saloon uh, so that you can train uh, more Jaegers and Black Riders. And the second option is to go for simply a second Rax, train a lot of Carolians, get the Vet upgrade, and uh, then send the uh, two artillery shipments and play with uh, Carolians and Cannons. Um, in this game for the tutorial, I guess I'm going to go for the mercenary build. In this case, you want to split your villagers between uh, wood and coin. Wood so that you can get uh, the 200 wood saloon. And coin because you want to have uh, 100 coin once uh, you reach the third age. And with this build, since we're going to have a lot of food from our torps, we still want to train some Carolians a uh, second match. So I'm going to do that put our the wheels on wood until I get 200 wood while training Carolians and try to build the saloon then once I have 200 wood I'm going to switch my wheels on coin and build that saloon Ah, uh, this, this pathing is not ideal. In this game, I didn't get any treasures in H1, so I don't have a shipment ready. But if you get uh, 1 XP treasures or kill some treasure guardian, you should have uh, exactly the re resources and experience to send your H3 shipment when you reach the third age. So here I'm going to have to wait like 10 seconds. But uh, in a real game, you wouldn't have to do that because you you will simply have killed the uh, treasure guardians. And we're simply going to send the 10 Jaegers. And then we're also going to train uh, Jaegers from uh, uh, this saloon. And if you want, you can train more Carolians. Okay, so that was it. Um, 
I don't know if that build order will stay in the meta or if people will figure out better build orders uh, in the future. But I think that um, for the time being, it's one of the strongest uh, Swedish build order. It's very flexible. It can uh, counter H2 pressure um, if you adapt and send a, a military shipment instead of 700 coin. You have a very decent economy because each torp is worth about two villagers uh, once you've sent the torp uh, card. And we've got like 10 torps here. So we've got about uh, 40 villagers uh, uh, for our economy. And... Uh, our units are quite decent in H3 with uh, either Carolians and uh, Cannons or uh, simply Mercenaries. So that was it and uh, uh, please like the video if you liked that tutorial.